History was made in Bailna in 1922. It was made again here today with the leaders of the two parties that emerged from the Civil War. Irish politics has allowed an honest choice between parties which differ on many important issues but have shared a commitment to democracy, to Ireland's place in Europe and to creating new opportunities. And this willingness to find common ground is why we have been able to take an approach to remembering even the most difficult parts of our history in an inclusive, respectful and constructive way. It was an occasion of mutual political respect. Today we make history of a different kind with two orations by the Taoiseach and Tánis of the day, the leaders of the two political parties which emerged out of the civil war and which for too long were divided by mutual antagonism. <laughs> civil war politics ended a long time ago in Ireland, but it only really ended in our doll when we formed the historic coalition of Fine Gael, Fianna Fáil and the Green Party in June 2020. So allow me to particularly thank Antishuk for accepting today's invitation today, for the leadership and dedication that he has shown over the past two years, and also for keeping a portrait of Cork's greatest son on the wall of the Taoiseach's office. Many of those who travelled from all over the country considered the event to be historic. It's just a great occasion and I'm delighted to be here. To have Leo and Michal, it's great to see them together. We grew up with the Sacred Heart and Michael Collins, pictures side by side. Um, Michael Collins was a tremendous man. At home I had the front window of the house done up <laughs> with a statue of Collins and his books and some other different medals that I have. Well, it was nice for us to see the big, the big joints together. But I didn't find it to last like, but... Um, we just take it, like. So the conclusion of a Michael Collins commemoration like none that has ever gone before, and one that may have formally ended an era of civil war politics. Donald Byrne, RTE News, Belnablaw, West Cork.